What's up guys, Mikkel here, and in this video, I wanna talk about a massive development that happened with Ripple and XRP earlier today that I believe is going completely under the radar. In this video, not only do I wanna cover this development, but talk about how I see Ripple's strategy going forward using XRP changing throughout 2024, Guys, in my eyes, we are seeing a massive pivot in Ripple's business model using the digital asset XRP. In this video, I wanna talk all about that, as well as talk about something that happened earlier today in regards to the charts in the entire cryptocurrency market that I believe everyone needs to be paying attention to. Guys, the cryptocurrency market is on the verge of a massive breakout, but we are stuck at one level. At the end of this video, I'm going to talk about the exact level we need to be watching for right now for the cryptocurrency market to break out entirely. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video to see that. You are not going to want to miss it. Like always, your support means so much to this channel. If you enjoy these videos, make sure to take a quick second to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'm doing daily live streams now, so if you guys do not want to miss out on those, make sure to subscribe so you do not miss out. Also, if you guys ever need a good place to buy some XRP, make sure to check out my favorite exchange, Uphold, down in the description of this video. There's only a couple days left of Uphold's 100,000 XRP giveaway. You do not want to miss out on that. Go sign up with Uphold using the link in the description of this video. With that said, though, let's jump right into it, and I hope you guys enjoy the content. So, guys, I want to jump right into this video and talk about the massive news we got earlier today, and that is that Ripple is now registered with Ireland's central bank to provide digital asset services in the country. So guys, this is super, super exciting because this is right off the back of a very similar announcement coming out of the UAE, where essentially XRP is now able to be used in the International Finance Center of Dubai. So this is very, very interesting because what we're seeing is Ripple is making massive strides in making sure that they can issue products in each country all around the world using XRP, the digital asset. Now, guys, this is super important to understand because so many people have been pushing the narrative forward that Ripple does not need XRP, that Ripple is going to build products that don't use XRP, and Ripple is moving away from XRP, the digital asset. But what we notice is that in every single jurisdiction Ripple is pushing into, they are making sure that they obtain a status for XRP that allow XRP to be used within all their products. Guys, this is probably a massive extra headache from Ripple and something they would not be doing if they did not plan on using XRP. But it looks like to me XRP could not be more obviously a critical part of Ripple's payment stack and I want to talk about exactly how I see Ripple progressing into the future. So guys to me one of the biggest giveaways for how Ripple was going to progress into the future was their acquisition of Mataco. Mataco is a custody solution, and one of the biggest things Mataco talks about is the tokenization of real-world assets. So what we know is Ripple, right, uses XRP for cross-border payments. And one of the biggest pain points in their product for using XRP as a vehicle for cross-border payments is the centralized exchanges. You can send XRP all around the world, right, for a fraction of a second instantaneously. But as soon as you have to convert that XRP to a fiat currency on a centralized exchange, suddenly you're hit with a massive fee. And this is where all the fees come in in Ripple's products because they are reliant on centralized exchanges who can charge whatever fees they want. But what I believe we are going to see and what I believe Ripple's strategy is going forward is actually using Metaco and the clarity they are getting from these different jurisdictions to allow banks in these jurisdictions to issue their own digital assets directly on the XRP ledger using the custody of Metaco to allow these institutions to do seamless transactions on the XRP ledger. So think about it this way. If you do not have to rely on a centralized exchange to convert fiat currency to XRP and instead you directly issue fiat currency on the XRP ledger, then the only fee you have to pay for sending a payment all around the world with XRP as the bridge currency is the fee to do that swap on the XRP ledger via the DEX or possibly via the AMM in the future. Now guys, that fee is absolutely minuscule compared to what is being paid on centralized exchanges. Orders of magnitude of 100 to 1000 X cheaper. So that means Ripple's premier product, right, would get exponentially more efficient as they continue to roll out these services. In my eyes, this is absolutely the direction we're headed. At Ripple Swell, they made it clear that they plan on integrating the DEX more into ODL. 
The only way they can really utilize the decks into ODL is if they push forward and actually make strides in the tokenization of these deposits. By allowing banks to tokenize their deposits on the XRP ledger, you can make a more seamless experience and a more efficient experience for these institutions. Guys, for a while, so many people have made the point that, hey, you will never see Ripple's ODL product being used for very liquid trades because it's just not efficient enough. But guys, what I'm talking about right here would drastically increase the efficiency of the product and make it so Ripple's ODL solution could be applied to markets all over the world regardless of how liquid they are. And that's because the more we integrate Ripple's entire solution directly into the XRP ledger, the more efficient it can get and the more it can be used for different trades all around the world. So guys, to sum all this up, I want to make one thing clear. A lot of people have talked about over the past couple months that Ripple is moving away from the XRP ledger, that they are moving away from XRP. But everything we are seeing in the facts is that Ripple is using the XRP ledger more and more, and it is becoming a more critical part of their payment stack and strategy. Guys, Ripple is absolutely nothing without XRP. They're just a messaging company. They're nothing special. But bringing XRP into their products and Ripple's ability to build directly into the XRP ledger is what is going to make their products exponentially more efficient, exponentially more important, and powerful drivers of innovation in our financial system. The last thing I really want to make clear on this topic, because I think it is so, so, so important to understand, is this does not mean Ripple is not going to create products that do not use XRP right? Ripple is going to have to have products that don't incorporate XRP. And think about it this way. When a gold miner goes to dig gold, right? They have a bunch of different processes, a bunch of different things they have to build in order to get that gold out of the ground. That doesn't necessarily involve getting the gold out of the ground, right? Paving roads, building up equipment, cutting down trees, clearing land, all of these processes, right? This company needs to spend time and resources on to get gold out of the ground, but they don't directly get the gold out of the ground. In that same exact way, Ripple is going to have to build software that does not directly use XRP to help institutions better utilize the XRP ledger. Not everything is going to be on a public blockchain. And just because Ripple builds a product as th that does not involve public XRP, that does not mean they are pivoting from the XRP ledger. Because in fact, it is highly likely that the centralized software they are building that does not directly incorporate XRP is going to ultimately lead institutions to the public XRP ledger. And I think a great example of this is bank accounts. You are not going to want your bank account on a public blockchain. You are not going to want me to be able to see what's in your bank account or your neighbor or anyone to know what is going on in your personal finances. So does that mean Ripple shouldn't build application for banks to track their internal treasury? Of course not. Ripple is going to build those things because if Ripple builds those products, then those customers are going to get more comfortable with Ripple and be able to use other services built like Ripple, like their cross-border payment solution using XRP. So I hope this right now blows up the narrative about Ripple pivoting from XRP because what you can see is Ripple is more committed than ever to building XRP and the XRP ledger into their solutions. And I think anyone who disagrees with that or pushes back on that just isn't paying attention to what's really being built here. And I want to finish this video off and talk about one last thing, and that's where the cryptocurrency market needs to break out of in order for us to really get exponential. And guys, this is Caleb who posted this. He does a great job on Twitter of just charting what is going on with the market. And what this is, is a total three. It's all the cryptocurrencies in the market minus Bitcoin and Ethereum. And earlier today, right, it was pushing up above this zone right here and then instantly retraced back down below it. Guys, we are on the verge of breaking out of this very important zone. I have a feeling when we do, we are going to watch a lot of the different altcoins outpacing Bitcoin and catching up to Bitcoin's gains. Guys, whether or not XRP is directly involved in this move, just understand XRP is never the first cryptocurrency to go, but it's always one of the fastest and most exponential. If you try to chase these other cryptocurrencies, I guarantee you, you will miss out on XRP right? XRP always takes its time to move, but it ultimately always does move when it wants to, and it always is one of the most exponential movers out there. Guys, to me, the more cryptocurrencies we see breaking out, the more it confirms to me that XRP is going to have its time to shine. To me, 
All things are pointing to the fact that we are well within a new bull market. And guys, with the ETFs around the corner, I cannot imagine how exponential this market is going to get. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. It's really going to help me out so much. If you want more information from me, make sure to subscribe to my Twitter. It will give you direct DM access to me to ask me anything. And also, subscribe so you don't miss out on live streams. And for now, Mickle out. Thank <laughs> you.